Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein now asking New York's highest court to overturn his rape conviction and, on another charge, get him a new trial. And the court at least seems receptive to his argument. He was convicted back in February 2020 of raping an aspiring actress, also of sexually assaulting a production assistant. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison. It was a landmark Me Too verdict. His lawyers arguing that the trial judge succumbed to the pressure of the Me Too movement and America's reckoning with sexual misconduct, end quote. This is his lawyer, Arthur Idala. It was his character that was on trial. It wasn't the evidence that was on trial. Things that were allowed in had nothing to do with truth and veracity. It was all, he's a bad guy. Idala argued the testimony of three witnesses who testified that Weinstein had assaulted each of them should not have been permitted and that it unfairly prejudiced the jury. It did turn into many trials, three other many trials. And we had a defendant who was begging to tell his side of the story. Idala insisting Weinstein couldn't take the stand because he would have had to address what each of these other witnesses had said. Back with me, veteran journalist Geraldo Rivera, trial attorney Misty Maris, and Jesse Weber from the Law and Crime Network. Jesse, the New York Court of Appeals, which is the highest yep. court in New York, at least sounded receptive to some of the arguments. Absolutely. And, and by the way, as somebody who was in that trial almost every day for the trial, the idea of those three witnesses testifying was crucial to the prosecution's case. You mentioned Court of Appeals was receptive. They said maybe the law has to change. I mean, the big things here were, number one, having all of these witnesses that he wasn't charged with talking about all of this content, all of this conduct. Number two, the idea that he couldn't take the stand because 28 prior bad acts would come him about everything about the disruptive behavior and throwing things. They said it tied his hands. Of course he wouldn't be able to testify. I want to caution, though. Even the lower court, the court right before this, there were three justices who seemed receptive to, all five said the conviction should be upheld. So it's kind of hard to read the tea leaves of what a judge is saying. They might listen to the arguments. Doesn't mean they're going to side with Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, this would be a, a very unpopular, Misty, uh, ruling if the court were to <laughs> overturn Harvey Weinstein's convictions. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. It would be unpopular. And look, the judges don't want to overturn jury verdicts unless they have to. But there's a there's a valid appellate case here relating to those three witnesses being permitted to testify, especially in New York. I practice in New York. Prior bad acts uh, is it's a rare day that that comes into the courtroom. And so these three witnesses came in on an exception. And the reason to bring them in is that it's supposed to show intent, but it's not supposed to show uh, its M.O. But it's not supposed to show propensity to commit a crime. So the argument on appeal is that this was so prejudicial that it swayed the jury. And then piggybacking on that, pretrial evidentiary decisions relating to if Harvey Weinstein took the stand made it impossible for him to do so. So they're very, very valid arguments. I could see the court accepting them. However, as Jesse said, really, courts do not want to touch jury verdicts unless it's absolutely abhorrent. So... We'll see what happens. All right, let's ask Judge Geraldo Rivera. Judge Rivera, what are you <laughs> expecting from the Court of Appeals here? I, I think that the Court of Appeals has an opportunity to clarify uh, this law. Prior bad acts that are uncharged to be admitted is three too many, one, ten, five. There has to be some guidance. Uh, Arthur Idala, the defendant's lawyer, a dear friend of mine, excellent attorney, and he raises these, uh, these three prior bad acts, uh, and, and he does it eloquently before the Court of Appeals. Is he going to win? there are definitely some judges that are listening. Is he going to win? I, I'm not going to predict it. Harvey Weinstein, by all accounts, is a lowlife scumbag, deserves to be in jail, disgusting human being. But is it fair, even in a Harvey Weinstein case, to bring in three people? You know what would have happened if Harvey Weinstein had complained about those three witnesses and offered his testimony? I never did. They, they would open the door for them to be questioned about all those things. Dozens and dozens and dozens of allegations. It really is very, very unfair. There has to be real clear guidance. Uh, so it and, sounds and like this is Geraldo's way of saying limitations. this is Geraldo's way of saying he thinks the court of appeals ought to overturn it, but he doesn't want to say it because he doesn't want to get criticized <laughs> for being the guy who's saying Harvey Weinstein should get a new trial. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.